You know, one of the things that I learned early on in my professional career, this um, Kano model, K-A-N-L, model of, you know, competitiveness, right? And how do you stand there? And basically what they took customers' expectations, and this gentleman broke it up into three priorities. One is what is known as must-haves, right? So as an organization, you have to decide if these things are not delivered to the customer or the stakeholder or you know whoever you're serving, then they will never come back. So this is like a must-have. If you don't get it, then your customer satisfaction goes way down. But if you get it, nobody cares, right? So these are the dissatisfiers and the must-haves. But it is also an indicator whether you're going to survive in an organization if you're not providing that. You have to provide 100% of the time those must-haves. And then you have, you know, some of the what is known as satisfiers or more is better. So those are your priorities where the more you give that, the more satisfaction goes up. The less you give of that, less, you know, satisfaction comes in. And the last one is what is known as delighters. And these are unexpected expectations. And those are the ones that will let you you know, thrive and grow. So have you built, you know, operational processes and everything else, you know, has the leadership prioritized based on that, right? And some organizations do a good job. Some organizations, leadership, you know, focus so much on the delighters that they're constantly pivoting, which just drives everybody else crazy. And it cannot be resilient in that, you know, sense. And then some, because they have lost the organizational DNA and with a lot of changes happening in the workforce these days, you know, they are not even providing the basic must-haves. And you know they're not going to survive for too long.